what's happening my mark one family uh, today I want to show you guys how to make extended mountings uh, I've just received a call right now that I should come and collect my coilovers because as you saw in the last video uh, the coilovers that I had was actually finished but I made a deal with the guy that I bought the coilovers from and he agreed that uh, he will go half half to uh, regas them and, and just to sort them out so I am uh, gonna go and collect the coilovers today but um, I just want to show you guys how to make extended mountings uh, so that your coilovers can last longer and so that you can have a smoother drive hope you guys enjoyed this video so guys I'm gonna be using argon welding to do my extended mountings you can use CO2 uh, I wouldn't uh, advise that you use arc welding for the mere fact that you're welding on a plate the plate is too multi which you can use argon welding but the strength of your welding I would rather go with argon or I would rather go with CO2 if you got a CO2 machine argon welding you can actually weld with your inverter welder this welder here is as you can see in front here it says the stick 200 DC so you can do arc welding as well as thick welding with your inverter welder there and then what you're going to be needing is one uh, flap disc to polish once you're done you're going to be needing a cutting disc to cut and cut slim line this is a slim line baby grinder uh, cutting disc uh, we are going to be cutting we need two of these shock mountings these are all shock mountings that you can actually get at a scrapyard for like 50 rand each 100 rand for two or even less uh, depending on where you go uh, some of the guys will even just give you this um, as uh, you know for free um, but paying 50 rand would save you a lot of time because what we are gonna be doing we're gonna be cutting this thing here right around so that we can get this here so this was there we cut it off there cut it there and when that comes out we have this here so and that is your footing that's gonna come on the inside where your shock is this is your extended spacer I made it uh, 20 26 millimeter uh, I could have went 28 I think 28 is the highest you can go on a golf one 28 millimeter but I just wanted to play it safe 26 millimeter there and then I'm gonna need a round head hammer as well as a semicircle file I'm gonna need a vice grip I don't have a table vice if you have a table vice you won't necessarily need a vice grip um, a marking cookie or chalk whatever you have at home and then this is 10 millimeter round tubing to multic as you can see here it is to multic so if your bolt which is this is the size of your bolt there your bolt must be able to go through like that there so it should be the size of the standard bolt which is a 13 spanner when you actually use it uh, to loosen it this is will be your 13 spanner bolt that comes on your your shock mounting then um, you're gonna need a strip for metal sheeting uh, this strip is actually too too more thick which is thick enough for me uh, uh, some guys use 1.5 more but I would go with 2 more 2.5 more can also work uh, in terms of the thickness to be more better and then I'm gonna need my um, auto dumb welding helmet my cutting maybe uh, grinder as well as a grinding disc so there's a grinding disc and a flap disc and a cutting disc on the baby grinder that we're gonna need so that's all the things we're gonna need and then uh, I'm gonna run you through uh, quickly how it's gonna be done right so so what happens with your extended mounting is this here comes at the bottom where your shock is so your shock is at the bottom and then this would be your extended mounting which will come on the top in your engine bay right there like that and your shock will then sit 
on top of that like this hence you've got that space there and with that space there you actually got uh, uh, about say 28 mil that you lifted your 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 shock with which is actually a lot and you can uh, adjust your coil or you don't have to adjust your coil overs all out to go low because then uh, you got this extension here the coil overs also last longer because you're not uh, uh, maxing out your coil over all the time so um, it's a simple modification that you can do yourself if you have this equipment and if you have a little bit of background of welding and using a grinder then I'm sure you can do this at home. If not, then just get somebody that uh, that does welding that can do this for you. And it's a simple modification. So guys, always wear your safety gear when you're gonna be working with a grinder, welder. If you use a welder, use your welding helmet, use your gloves. And if you're working with a grinder, use your gloves, use your, your, your safety goggles at all times. Make sure that you uh, actually use your safety gear because you don't want to get injured while you're doing this yourself. As you guys can see, I have cut off the top part of my shock mounting and there I have my bracket. Only thing I need to do, sorry for the bad uh, footage it's just that I had to work at night I've got a deadline um, and I need to finish up this video tonight because tomorrow I want to load another video and I have a few videos that I've been planning to uh, upload by the weekend so I just gotta get this one done that's why I'm trying to push to get it done but as you can see that is your bottom part of your shock mounting and that's what we're gonna use for the extended spacer. So guys, you can see how it looks. It doesn't look too bad after I've, uh, I've filed on the inside, always file on the inside here. It can get a bit sharp and be careful with your fingers when you're working here. And then, uh, yeah, then you've got your bracket. This bracket, if you should make it, it would maybe take you like two to three hours because what you would need is a, a you'll need a plate and then you'll need a hole saw and you'll have to use a big drill and drill here through with a hole saw and you'll have to be accurate on those two holes here so that they line up but this bracket is already made for that particular place there where it's gonna go so uh, if you cut the old bracket you will spare yourself a lot of time you could easily spend 3-4 hours making this uh, I've done it in 10 minutes so guys what I've done on to my bracket I took my uh, my, my flat uh, my flat uh, plate here and I've actually uh, tacked it I've tacked it on there and I've tacked it on there onto my bracket and then just check when you tack it it must be on the inside of that hole there because this bracket must sit on the inside of this bracket here so that's very important so that it fits nicely and once you've got that going there and then you are basically just gonna bend it sorry for the bad footage but you are basically gonna bend it because it's tack fast it will bend and as you can see look at that there there's your bend there and that's basically how i'm gonna take it right around uh, I'm gonna give it now what I'm gonna do now is just heat it here uh, with a little tap so it flush onto my material here and then uh, so I'm basically gonna take it there somewhere there and it's gonna sit like this on the inside and then I'm, so I'm gonna take it there and then I'm gonna take it here towards the corner and I'm gonna bend it right around right around till I come to that side there where this must be towards this side here and then I'll cut off whatever's remaining of my flat bar flat plate and then weld it uh, with the argon and then uh, I'm gonna when I'm done I'll cut every all the tacks off and then you got your bracket 
that is gonna go on the inside of your of your of your shock uh, mounting uh, and that will be your spacer so the spacer is 26 mil and uh, 2 mil thick that's basically what you need and this is the technique that I'm using there is other guys that are more advanced than what I am I'm working from my backyard and uh, I have to um, make a plan with what I've got so uh, all the stuff that I'm doing I don't have all the advanced bending uh, machinery and all that so it's basically just what I can do uh, in my backyard but I also want the quality to be very good even though I'm doing it uh, in my backyard So guys, as you can see, there is my extended mounting right there. What I've used is just two bolts, um, just to uh, get it in line with my hole here at the bottom. So once I got that in, then this here lines up there, and that's basically all that you you need. You need that to line up your holes here to line up, because this is gonna be the exact same shock mounting. It's gonna sit on top here and I will explain that when I install the coilovers so that's basically how you make an extended mounting so I have already made the other mounting and this is the second mounting and then what I'm just gonna do now I'm just gonna quickly uh, spray paint it I've got black primer so I'm gonna spray paint it with the black primer and then um, because it is black and it's the color that I wanted but then on top of that I'm gonna just give it uh, maybe so two coats of clear coat just to give it a nice shine because I know black primer hasn't got a high gloss finish I just want it to look really really nice when I'm done and then that's it and then uh, you guys will then see once I finish spray painted uh, everything then you will see how the extended mountings look and that's basically how you make your extended mountings guys there is your finished product on your extended mount spaces as you can see how it looks uh, I think it look, came out very nice uh, I could have spent a bit more time on the spray work but I'm not going to because this plate at the bottom comes underneath where your shock uh, comes that's under your fender nobody's gonna see that this plate on top the spacer I might just decide to give it another coat of black and then maybe a clear coat just to make it shine nicely uh, but I think the results came out very nice as you can see I went to go and buy uh, bolts 8 millimeter bolts and nuts this nut is a self tight nut as you can see on the inside there that thing has actually have like a yellow seal now that locks your your, your, your nut so uh, your nut actually locks to the bolt and to whatever you are tightening which is very good uh, for this type of uh, modification if you're gonna use normal bolts then just buy yourself Loctite and then you can actually lock your nuts but uh, that is the bolt and nuts you're gonna be needing I took 17 millimeter long it might be a bit too long uh, if it is too long then I will actually trim it off but uh, I'm hoping that I don't have to do that we will see when we do the installation of my coilovers so 
when you're looking in terms of cost for something like this i think uh you can get a piece of scrap metal from scrap plate from your scrap yard for like 20 30 rand uh, easily and your your shock mountings you can actually get uh, at your scrap yard for like 50 rand each so and these bolts i spent for 10 of these bolts i actually uh bolts and nuts and washers i paid about 30 rand so all in all i would i would say all in all this modification here with my spray painting could have cost me about say between 150 and 180.